Samuel and this is House of Mouse. I'm here in Magic Kingdom today and today's gonna be a little bit of an interesting day because there is a hurricane approaching. However, we've got a virtual queue for Tiana's. So we're gonna head that way now before things start closing down. So you guys ready? Let's go. Made it to Liberty Square and we're heading over to Frontierland, but it is starting to rain. So I don't know if Tiana's is gonna be open right now, but we're gonna go find out. Well, it looks like it's still going. So let's go get in line now. I pulled up my Disney Experience app and had my virtual queue out so I can show them. We have till 1035. Just scanned in and we are making our way inside now. This at least this ride, we're getting splashed on, so this rain right now that's going on, it's not really gonna matter. Entered the building, it's 9.52 now. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is pouring now. <laughs> well, Switch to put on my project. Hopefully, this helps. We'll find out. Well, this is going to be the most remote I get on Flash Mountain ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting soaked. <laughs> Not even to the splash part yet. Okay, here comes the baby drop. Oh, we're gonna stop. just the rain than the actual ride itself. Um, just being out exposed to the rain. I'm gonna go to the restroom and try to dry off a little bit and then I think I wanna go to Petco's Bill because they've got some new food options. Got dried off a little bit and cleaned up. I could not even see out of these sunglasses. They were so smudged. Excuse me. Dried off and cleaned off my sunglasses because they were so smudged from my hair product and all the rain. It seems like it's just sprinkling a little bit now. It's not raining as heavy. So let's make our way over to Pecos Bell. Well, Pecos Bell opened at 10.30, but they started taking orders a few minutes early. So I ordered my food. I'll show you guys once we get to the table. But I had to order it here. I couldn't do it at the mobile order on the phone because it wouldn't let me move on without selecting chicken or some type of protein. I found a little spot in the corner, kind of tucked away from everybody else. So it's not as loud over here, but I wanted to show you guys what I got. First up is the rice bowl. This is pinto beans, cilantro lime rice, cowboy caviar. I did not get the queso fresco on it or any protein, but this is the one I was talking about. I had to order it at the front counter because on the mobile app, it doesn't allow you to select it without adding a protein. It'll just prevent you from actually going on to the next page. So I had to wait and order it there, but this I wish, just looking at it, it looks great. It's kind of similar to the one that they had before. I wish it had lettuce. Um, that's the one thing it's missing is I wanted some of that iceberg or whatever the shredded lettuce in with this as well. This is also a new menu option. This is the grilled masa flatbread. It's grilled corn flatbread topped with sweet potatoes, stewed pinto beans, plant-based pepper jack cheese, shredded lettuce, pico de gallo, and plant-based lime crema. Also wanted to note the sauce they gave me that came with the rice bowl. Um, I'm not going to use this. They said they couldn't take it back, but I got a side of the plant-based crema for my bowl as well. And then of course, as you can see, gotta have my hot sauce. First I'm gonna try the flatbread. This already, I can tell, it was kind of nice to get this right away in the morning because it's very fresh. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, oh it is cut a little bit, you have to tear it a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bite, let me use the fork. I've got the beans and sweet potatoes and everything on here, but let me add a little bit of the lettuce and the crema, just so we get a perfect bite. Mm. 
a pretty good flavor. So first I was like, oh, I think it needs like more, something else on it. But the more I'm eating it, I like it. So maybe not. It's really good. Um, it's got a little bit of heat. The sweet potatoes aren't too sweet. That sometimes I, with um, kind of any type of Tex-Mex or any type of spice food when they're sweet potatoes, sometimes it almost is too sweet for me and y'all know I like spice. But this actually is perfect. Um, the crema on this is amazing. It's almost like a ranch. Let me try a little bit more. That's really good. I will say, as I'm getting a little bit more to the center of the flatbread, a little soggy, but I think that's just from all the toppings. I don't think it's because of how it's cooked. Um, I love this. I want to get it again. I can't wait to come back with Tanner and try this because I know he's going to like this also. Like this is really good. I'm of course going to add some hot sauce to it now. Okay. So remember when I was saying I felt like it maybe was missing something? It was hot sauce. Duh. Of course. Um, it was already kind of like a 7, 8 out of 10. That brought it to a 9. Like it's almost perfect. Next, I'm going to try the rice bowl. This is with the cilantro rice, the cowboy caviar, and the pincho beans. This was supposed to have queso fresco on top and then also a protein. Um, obviously, we didn't do the protein on this one, so there wasn't a vegan protein option. I'm going to try this without hot sauce because I already know I'm going to need it with hot sauce, but we're going to try it just for science first. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bite of everything. The cowboy caviar basically looks like pico de gallo with with corn. I don't know if it's grilled corn, but it's with corn in there. So I'm gonna get some of the pico with the tomatoes and everything. Got a little bit of some pinto beans. Ooh, there's some fresh cilantro in there. And then the cilantro rice. Very similar to the bowl they had before. The pico on this, I like it's more of a fresh taste because with the other bowl, they just gave you the little tostito salsa. Uh, which I like sometimes, and it's a little sweet sometimes, but I liked it just for like maybe some chips. I think it would go well. You know what? That's what the flatbread needed. It needed the pico. If that pico was on the flatbread, chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Yeah. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this pico or this cabo caviar on the flatbread. I just got really excited. Okay, let me try this now with the peak for the cowboy caviar. I keep calling Pico. Cowboy caviar with everything on there. Mm hmm. That's exactly what it needed. It just needed a little bit of that acid on there. Okay. And next time I order this, I'm gonna ask for a side of Pico. Okay, back to the bowl. I'm gonna put some of this lime. Crema, the plant-based lime crema on the bowl. Try it that way next, and then we'll add the hot sauce. Again, the lime crema is not what it normally comes with. It comes with this other sauce, but this is not a plant-based option. That bowl definitely needed the lime crema. It added a little bit of some creamy and brightness to it. A little bit more acid because there's a lot of rice, a lot of beans. It just needed something to cut through that a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead now and of course add some hot sauce. Now I think we have a masterpiece. Let me show you guys. And there I've mixed everything together. So now we can get the perfect bite. Much better. I wish it had a protein. Like it needs more than just beans. I wish there was like some type of plant-based chicken. Like maybe the plant-based chicken that they have at that Fairfax Fair. Did I say that right? Fairfax Fair, yeah. Um, the one that they have over there for the soba noodles, I wish they had that chicken here, because that would be perfect on this. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the uh, rainy day cavalcade just went by, so you know it's a rainy day today. Overall, I really liked the flatbread. Okay. I'll definitely come back for that with a little side of um, pico added to it. Maybe guacamole we'll try next time, because you can add that as well. Um, the rice bowl, I wish 
I wish there was a protein. I wish there was like some more texture to it because it's just kind of beans, rice, and pico, so it's just kind of one note. The other rice bowl before, it had uh, little tortilla chips that you put in there as well, gave it a little bit of crunch, and the lettuce. So this, if it had lettuce and those tortilla chips again, be perfect. But um, this one I'm gonna give like nine out of 10, almost. If it were to have a pico, it'd be like a 10 out of 10, and if the, the crust was a little bit more crispy, and I have to add a little bit of heat to it. This one I'm gonna give like a five. It's not bad, it's just meh. So the nice thing about storm days, of course, is low wait times. Look, Pirates is only five minutes. Peter Pan is only 45. So I think I'm gonna run over to Peter Pan because I never get to do that ride. Check it out, the sun is out, blue sky is peeking through. It's not hot at all right now. There's a nice breeze. So after that rainstorm, it's kind of ideal time to be here. Low wait times, not sweating. Made it to Fantasyland. Let's get in line for Peter Pan. Hopefully the time hasn't gone up since 45 minutes still. Boop. It is 11.46. Let's see how long this takes. They said 45 minutes. It was 12.18. That took about a half hour. Yep. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Ta-da! Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. Just finished Peter Pan. I appreciate the updates they did to that ride. It was in need of some TLC and some cultural updates. It, it's always been one of my favorite movies and ride. It's just such a hard ride to wait in line for when it's 75 to 120 minutes in the summer heat. 
Um, so today, with it only being a half hour, it's perfect. But I think next I'm gonna walk around and check out and see what other low wait times we can get into. The sun is still shining with a little bit of a breeze, so it feels great. Pirates is only a 15 minute standby, so let's go back over to Adventureland and get in line for Pirates. Oops, Philharmonics are out. That was so much fun. We just got to do a little interactive kind of musical, I don't know what you would call it, like a little uh, performance with the Philharmonics. I'll insert the footage I have on my phone for this because I was I didn't have my camera out at the time. Made it to Pirates and it still says 15 minutes. Twelve forty-nine now. Let's see if this how accurate this is. Twelve forty-nine now. Let's see how accurate the standby time is. Okay, that took 11 minutes. But I do want to go over to Tortuga, the Tortuga Tavern. I don't remember what they named it to. It's at the temporary shop because, as you can see here, it's still closed on the exit side of Pirates. Tortuga Treasures. So this is temporary. But well, let's just go in and check and see if there's anything new. I haven't seen these shorts yet. Pirates of the Caribbean. They're gray sweatshorts with red. Oops. Did you guys hear all that rustling and sound and like the audio that was coming when I was recording? Um, I, apparently my pocket just decided to FaceTime a, a group chat. Oops. But let's get back to the merch. pirate shorts that I was looking at. So they're gray sweatshorts and they've got like a red drawstring to them with Pirates of the Caribbean in red that matches. And on the back, it's just plain there, but these are $44.99. T-shirt, a Pirates of the Caribbean T-shirt. This is $34.99. I have one in red with silver, but I kind of like this one better. Oh my gosh, I love this shirt. Look at this one. It says, fear the beards, or there be trouble, Jack. <laughs> Holy moly, it is getting so windy over here. But I'm going to go swing around the corner and see what the wait time is on Jungle Cruise. Well, I was going to do Jungle Cruise, but I forgot it's closed for refurbishment, and I don't remember when it's supposed to open. I know they said before the holidays, before Jingle Cruise. So I guess let's go ahead into Emporium and check out some merch. Hello. So every time I see this backpack, oops, not that one, this one, I keep thinking, should I get it? I like it. How much is it? 
$44.99. That's not terrible. I'm gonna have to keep thinking about that one because I've been thinking about this backpack for a while. We'll see. If they have the spirit jersey I want that, it's like a heather gray color. Sorry. It, but I don't see it. Oh, yes, it is in my size. Okay. Where's the price? I scanned the spirit jersey and this is $79.99. I'm going to take a risk and I'm gonna wait about on the spirit jersey. It's a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to think about it if I really wanted it. I was hoping, so I was hoping they'd have these Agatha ears, but I don't see them. Maybe across the street. We'll go check at Main Street Cinema. Well, I talked to a couple cast members. They said that the Agatha ears have not been seen in the park yet, but they should be coming soon. But I think I'm going to call it a day. Ooh, it's getting windy again. Um, I'm going to try to beat the crowd and get on the monorail before the parade starts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and until next time, stay magical. Bye!